cerebral palsy, but that doesn't make me different from anyone else. Uh, I'm still a human being. I still do lots of activities like hang out with friends and stuff, you know, go to the movies and stuff. It's truly uh, a wonderful experience, a gratifying experience, because I've learned that independence is the truest success of life and the purest success of life. I step up. Uh, conductive education is really a model of learning and uh, essentially it's to teach um, the child new um, neural pathways for movement. Uh, we really focus on the whole child from feeding, eating, dressing, toileting, walking, sitting. We really cover um, everything related to their daily life. I couldn't walk mainly so or do stairs but now I can. Now I can do basically like lots of things by myself. I am able to like walk by myself, um, ride in cursive, dress myself. They helped me learn how to walk with single point canes and walk better because before I couldn't really walk that good, but now I can. I've learned how to like put my coat on and put my jacket on and stuff. I think people like take advantage of those activities. Like they take them for granted. And I feel like just taking a couple steps or putting my coat on is like a very gratifying experience. So I've learned to better myself and that by better myself, I can continue living. Conductive education is an intensive um, functional motor skills training group um, and basically we're teaching the children how to move their bodies. Um, overall they're um, pulling themselves in different positions, learning to be as active as possible and as independent as possible with the least amount of assistance. Well, our program is uh, very intensive. It's uh, unlike traditional therapy in that the children could be here for six hours a day during the summer and three hours every day during the school year. So it's an incredibly intensive model. And part of that is the idea that um, a normal child may have to repeat an activity up to 200 times in order to learn the skill. For a child with cerebral palsy or who's had damage to their brain, it may take them 2,000 repetitions to learn that movement. Um, so it's really the focus of conductive education is rep repeating the uh, movement, but we use games, we use songs, we use rhythmic intention. They kept on trying and they gave me, um, like, they gave me confidence so then I would do it and I'm doing it now. Conductive education is always delivered in a group model. And that's because we're relying on the motivation between the peers. So it's not necessarily the adult that's always motivating the child, but it's the other children that are motivating the child. Well, we definitely focus on the children learning by watching, learning by doing, and learning by saying. And they're with their similarly abled peers so that they're able to develop um, kind of a sense of of self-esteem and um, they definitely use group motivation if they see that Johnny is lifting up his hand then that motivates them to also lift their hand up. Although there are many benefits to an included setting, 
our children, when they're in an included setting, playing on the playground, in gym, what have you, they enter into a competition, they're going to race something. The child with CP, if it's a physical activity, always knows they're going to lose. They always know that they're going to lose from the get-go. Um, or that it's going to be modified so much that it doesn't even resemble the activity that the rest of the children are doing. When they're here in our group, the children all have the same level of skill. So that, in, that um, idea and concept of competition really comes back in. And it's a healthy, it's just a healthy way to learn and to compete amongst themselves. You see their motivation level just shoot way up. It's probably one of the best things about conductive education. They also are able to meet um, and develop friendships that will last a lifetime because so often they've never met another child with CP, they've never seen anybody look just like them. It's really a fantastic opportunity for the children to understand that they're not in it alone. I have a voice so I am seeing